Kind of looks better already. I need air. Howdy everyone. Welcome to a special midweek edition of Maverick Mods. Today, all it's going to be is just concentrating on doing a little bit of fixing wrinkled sheet metal. That uh, one spot on the uh, right hand lower portion where the quarter meets the tail panel. So, let's dig in and see if we can't straighten out some uh, metal pretzels. Okay, let's see if we can't uh, take a little bit of this wrinkly sheet metal out of the way. First thing I'm going to work on is I'm going to work on straightening this part of the panel here. This was pushed back up this way, kind of coming this way. And I'm just going to take and kind of wail on it with a hammer a little bit. I'm not too worried because the rear of the frame rail is right here. And that's pretty solid. So I should be able to move this back. Let's start with that. And what I'm shooting for is to wind up with basically a flat panel all the way to the point where it curves out here. So this part is what I'm trying to straighten out. And this is fairly heavy. Well, that's not too heavy duty. Don't necessarily need to start with a body hammer. I'll finish with a body hammer. Let's see what a regular hammer will do. Right. Now let's come back on the back side. Smidge right more right there. All right, that's pretty good. It's not going to win any prizes. It's going to be hidden. All I want is that the metal is in the right place. Next, I'll work on straightening this out and straightening this flange out. I've got this area up in here kind of back in shape. I'm kind of where I need to be. This needs to go in just a little bit more, but I need to kind of put that curve that's on the other side kind of back in here, then I can keep working this. Straighten out the bottom curve here, and I think I'm pretty close, and then I'll start working on the next piece. That's that filler piece that comes out to here. I'm also gonna put the trunk drive back in, see how I'm doing up here for now. Okay, so part two in the repair of the corner back there is to take this pretzel and turn it back into that piece right there, or at least a mirror image of that piece right there. We're gonna give, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a try. I don't have a shot bag, a lot of, uh, that's S-H-O-T, not shop, shot, shot bag. But I do have a bag of sand. It's got a little bit of give to it. We're just going to go after this with a hammer and see if we can't start straightening out some of the wrinkles. Now, this piece has a curve this way on this side, and it needs to kind of curve that way on that side. It may not work. Let's see what we can do here. Now, so if I want to replicate that, I need to turn it over this way. Actually, I need to straighten this right here first. Kind of looks better already. Uh, so, let's keep that curve going this way. That piece 
solution is to fold that way. Alright, let's see how close it fits. I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope on the first time around. This guy is supposed to fit up in there, like so. And, so first thing I can tell is I need to flatten this corner right here. Okay, so what that tells me is this piece right here needs to come out more. And I need to work on the curvature down here. I need to fold this this way. All the way. This is where a shrinker would come in really handy and I don't have one. Okay, let me see what I can do on the vise and the bench. Well, it's close. It's a little ugly, but it is going to be hidden and considering the fact that that part does not exist. A little bit of time with a hammer, the bean bag, sandbag, shot bag, whatever you want to call it. A little bit more time with a hammer, especially right up in here to close this up, and I think I can make this work. Okay, I've got uh, part of the area here uh, close enough in the gap so I can uh, hit some spots, start tacking this in. So here we go. Well, that didn't work. All right, let's find another spot. That metal's pretty thin. There we go. That one. does wonders when you check the adjustments on your welder once in a while only to find out that you're way too hot. Cool it down a little bit, things weld much better. With the repair finished, this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's not the prettiest, 
but it is functional everything fits everything works and we can continue putting everything together I had a question the other day as to asking why was I removing the factory seam sealer? Well, there's a bunch of reasons for it. Here's a really good one. As I'm working on the deck lid here, started sandblasting, and of course the seam sealer needed to come out. And if you look really close, I peeled the seam sealer out of the, the uh, deck lid uh, edge seam here. That is rust that was underneath the seam sealer. And had I not pe peeled the seam sealer out, that would have just continued to rust, would have had uh, fresh paint over the top of it. So, amongst various other reasons, that's why I'm trying to get out as much of the seam sealer as possible. Okay, got the deck lid finished sandblasted. I actually shouldn't be touching this with my bare hands, but oh well. So, everything looked good. Came out really nice. I'm not too thrilled about the access holes there for the spoiler. But maybe I can do something about that. But she came out really nice. No big issues, no rust. I did show just a little bit of the rust that was in the... Underneath, I should say, the seam sealer. That all came out really good. And uh, this panel is ready for epoxy primer. Gonna put a little epoxy primer on the deck lid and the doors. Since I don't have an upright stand or any way to hang anything, I'm gonna have to do them one side at a time. So today we'll get the back sides. Tomorrow we'll get the front sides. I need air. But well, just goes to show, a little bit of time with a hammer, closest available floor, uh, sandbag, beanbag, shot bag, whatever you have, uh, a little bit of persistence, and yeah, you can make things work if you have to. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. It certainly would help me out. Everybody, have a great day.